Welcome back to Hub. Today we're going to look at the learning theory. Dorian Miller, Miller posed the learning theory, which was based around the concept of the infant learning to love who feeds them. This behavior is learned in two ways, classical and operant conditioning. Classical conditioning is when we learn to associate two stimuli together. For example, before conditioning, the food is the unconditional stimulus and the unconditioned response is pleasure from eating the food. During conditioning, food is the unconditioned stimulus and neutral stimulus of a caregiver is introduced to produce an unconditioned response of pleasure. After conditioning, the caregiver becomes a conditioned stimulus and pleasure becomes a conditioned response. Operant conditioning is learned to repeat behaviour based on if it is rewarded, which makes you more likely to repeat the behaviour, or punished, which makes you less likely to repeat the behaviour. For example, why do babies cry for comfort? Crying results in the caregiver giving a response, for example, feeding or comforting the infant, and comfort acts as a social suppressor. If the right response is given, the behaviour, in this case crying, is positively reinforced. Attachment is described to be a two-way process where the caregiver gradually learns what is best for their infant by going through negative reinforcement until they do something where their infant gets comfort. A strength of the learning theory is that it has some explanatory power because it informs us that infants learn via reinforcement and association. Therefore, not all of the learning theory is wrong just because food is seen to be the main reinforcer. However, weakness is that there is contradicting evidence as Harlow found that contact comfort is more important than food because the research monkeys spent more time with the cloth-wired model even when the plain-wired model generated milk in one of the conditions. This reduces reliability. Another weakness is that the learning theory ignores other factors linked to attachment, for example, reciprocity and interactional synchrony, like stated by Isabella Tao. Thus, the theory has to be updated in order to include these aspects. There's contradicting evidence because Tronic found that in African cultures, infants are fed by other mothers, so not their biological mothers, but they still had the closest attachment with their biological mothers. Hence, rearing stars of other cultures should be considered in order to make the findings generalizable. In our next video, we will look at Bowlby's monotropic theory of attachment. But before then, make sure you make your notes from what we covered today. And don't forget to revise, rest, test and repeat. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you to Canva because I use their templates to create these slides. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and press the bell icon on our channel Revision Hub. Thank you so much.